This is the Link Station N1 by Link Plus, a six bay all solid state NAS with some impressive hardware. Let's check it out. I am excited about this review for two reasons. One, this is the first entirely solid state NAS that I've ever laid my hands on. And two, it's running Unraid out of the box, which is another piece of software that I've never actually spent any time with. So let's check it out. Hey there, home lovers, cell posters, IT pros, and engineers. Rich here. The Link Station N1 is an interesting system for a bunch of reasons. Not only does it hold four NVMEs and two SSDs, but its looks and design make it something you could put practically anywhere in your home and have it not look out of place. And as I mentioned at the top, it's running Unraid for its OS, which is an interesting approach over Link Plus rolling its own user interface, like you tend to see with other NAS vendors in this market segment. Full disclosure, the Link Station N1 was sent to us for free, but this is not not a sponsored video. Let's get to the details. Let's start with the physical details. The Link Station N1 measures in at 210 millimeters wide, by 35 millimeters high, by 152 millimeters deep. The two-tone case is a mix of black plastic on top and aluminum on the bottom, giving it a stylish appearance. Let's look deeper. Up front, the Link Station N1 features a bank of indicator lights for each disc and network activity, an illuminated power button, and below, behind the swing down door, we see two hot swappable 2.5 inch SSD drive bays, a 10 gig USB Type C connector, and pulsating ambient blue lighting at the bottom. Around the back of the unit, we have a single 3.5 millimeter mini phono audio jack, an HDMI 2.0 port, two USB 3.0 ports, a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port, and the DC power connector. Lastly, on the bottom of the case, we see two easy removable covers that expose the unit's four NVMe slots. The unit is well built and feels quality, which it should because it retails for $400 directly from Link Plus's website. Let's take a deeper look at the hardware specs now. The Link Station N1 NAS is equipped with an Intel Celeron N5105 CPU, which features four cores and runs at 2 GHz with a boost to 2.9 GHz. The N1 also comes standard with 16 GB of LPDDR4 RAM, Wi Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and has a basic 128GB internal disk that comes with Unraid Server Basic installed. Link Plus's website claims the unit can support up to 48TB of storage at the time of this video. All this sounds well and good, so let's get the system set up, have a look around, and run some storage speed tests against it. We'll be building this unit out with four Kingston NV2 1TB M.2 NVMe SSDs and two Silicon Power 1TB 2.5 inch SSDs. We'd love to go crazy and put 8 terabyte SSDs into it, but seriously, that's crazy expensive. Installing the NVMEs is a breeze. Simply flip over the unit, open the two access panels, insert the drives, remove the protective covers on the thermal pads, and close the panels up. It's that easy. Similarly, installing the two 2.5-inch SSDs is a straightforward process as well. Assembling the 2.5-inch SSDs in their caddies was a breeze. Just drop the SSDs into the caddies, flip them over and secure them with the included four screws and insert them into the front of the unit. Boom, just like that. Let's take a look at the UI. This is the login screen of the Link Station N1. Again, Link Plus did something here that you don't often see, and that is they opted not to spend the time and effort to build a Synology-like web desktop environment for their NAS and instead went with an established NAS software from the start. Let's log in. This is the dashboard of Unraid. The dashboard gives you an at-a-glance look at all aspects of your functioning NAS, from the hardware details in the left column, to your services like Docker, VMs, and shares in the center column, to information about your disks and the array configuration in the right column. I have to admit, I kind of like the Unraid dashboard approach. Let's go through this quickly. In the main tab at the top, you see the array I've built using the SSDs within the system. I've opted to configure the NAS with one of the NVMEs used for parity and the other five drives assigned to the array for storage. Next stop is the Shares tab. Here you'd create your SMB network shares with the app data, domains, ISOs, and system shares being default shares, and the SMB share, the one I created for network performance testing. Users tab is where you'd create multiple users on the box. By default, root is the only user, and the default password out of the box was 123456. If you're running a LinkStation N1, change that default password. Settings provides you a variety of different settings to tweak from CPU pinning, date and time configs, and a lot more. All these settings are a standard part of Unraid. Plugins allows you to install plugin applications for Unraid that enhance and add features to your system. I've installed the Community Applications plugin here, which provides the App Store functionality for Docker containers, which we'll take a look at in a moment. 
Next is the Docker tab, which for right now is empty because I've not installed any Docker apps via the App Store. If you have Docker apps, they'll appear here and you can manage them from here as well. Next stop is VMs. Unraid will run virtual machines and there's enough power and RAM in this little NAS to tackle that duty to a point. You can easily spin up VMs and manage them from here. Apps provides an App Store-like experience for Unraid, facilitated by the install of the community plugin I showed earlier. Every NAS these days has an App Store, with some more extensive than others. One of the beauties of using Unraid as your OS is their App Store is very extensive, and you'll find easy-to-install apps for everything from Plex and other media apps, to game servers, to AI apps, and so much more. This is a really great ad. Last tab is the Tools tab that provides you deeper information about the hardware and OS via system devices, processes, system log, and so on. There's options to manage the web GUI and also upgrade and downgrade the OS if needed. I want to touch on this again because in the world of Soho NASes, this is unique. At first, when I discovered that the Link Plus didn't have its own GUI but instead was using Unraid, I wasn't quite sure what sort of user experience I was in for. Frankly, I was wrong. I think using Unraid instead of doing it themselves actually made the Link Station N1 better and more useful. Just the community app store alone and the quantity of containers just a click away was really impressive. But we haven't talked about storage performance yet, so let's test the read-write performance of this NAS over its 2.5 gig link and see how well it performs. And no shocker here, it crushed it. We used Crystal Disk Mark on a Windows 11 system with a 2.5 gig connection to fully test out the LinkStation N1's network storage performance. In our 1 gig file test, the NAS easily saturated the 2.5 gig connection, moving 258 megabytes a second read and 258 megabytes a second write. And in the 2 gigabyte file transfer test, equally performed reading at 260 megabytes a second and writing at 254 megabytes a second. And for funsies, I ran the test with a 64 gigabyte file size, and again, no issues reading at 207 megabytes a second and writing at 258 megabytes a second. So let's talk about the good and the bad of the LinkStation N1, starting with the good. It is a nice unit. Clearly, it's capable of fully utilizing its 2.5 gig network connection, and coming with Unraid installed by default has kind of become my new favorite approach over the countless other Synology-esque attempts that we've seen from other Soho NASes. It's something I think most of them probably should be doing anyway, honestly. And that App Store is so complete. You'll basically find everything you'd look to self-host on your N1 all right there, and that is a big win. Another big perk of the N1 is that it's quiet. It has a fan, but it is an incredibly quiet fan, and even when I was thrashing storage, causing a ton of heat, it was barely audible. And now, the not so good. Using Unraid is a double-edged sword. One of the biggest things Unraid lacks, and thus the LinkStation N1 lacks, is a user-friendly wizard for building out your storage volume. Unraid's volume management interface is terrible, and I think it hurts the N1 from a user experience perspective because of it. Say what you want about Unraid, good or bad, but a satisfying, beautiful user experience it does not have. But really, that is the biggest negative overall. There are little things, too, that don't make much sense, like the fact the unit has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. That's cool, but there's there's nothing in Unraid that takes advantage of it, and regarding the pretty blue ambient light in the bottom of the unit, well, that's not controllable. It has no real indicator functionality. It just pulses in and out in a pretty blue glow, and there's no way to shut it off if you were to, say, put that N1 in your entertainment center in the living room. But outside of that, it is a fantastic unit with a lot to offer. Get past the Unraid volume creation, and you'll find all of the apps and features you'd want, and the N1 as a platform does a great job of running it. And that, friends, will do it for this video. If you liked it, throw us a sub and a like. And if you have a beef with anything I've said here, let me know in those comments below. Special thank you to our YouTube members. You help keep the lights on, and we thank you for it. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider becoming a member or buy some of our swag. It'll help us keep making these videos. And now that you've finished watching this video, how about checking out this place over here of other great storage videos we've done in the past. If you're looking for your next great NAS, we can help.